Hello there. In this video, we'll review how to use your Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator to develop a trend projection time series forecast. This question relates to problem 4.25 in your text. The nature of our problem is this. We're given a number of accidents that have occurred on the Trans-Canada Highway during the past four months, January through April. And our requirement is the forecast, the number of accidents that will occur in May using least squares regression to derive a trend equation. Well, this is basically asking us to do a trend projection. And the way we're going to do that is we're gonna treat our months as the X variable and the number of accidents as the Y variable. So let's hop over to our B2 plus calculator let's give this a go. Remember, we want to use our second function data and second function stat functions in our calculator. So if we go second function data, that allow us to input. We want to make sure that we clear out all previous variables. So go second function clear work, and you should have x01. For this problem, each x variable will represent the month in sequence. So January is month one. So one, enter, and hit the down arrow. Y01 will be 30, enter, hit the down arrow. X02 is going to be February, which is month two. Two, enter, and in that month there were 40 accidents, so 40, enter for Y. X03 is 3, enter, 60 accidents for Y, enter. X04 is April, enter, and during that month there were 90 accidents, so 90, enter. And there should be no X05, so leave it at 0. And if you cycle through from the top again, you should have 130, 240, 360, and 490. Now we can go and use our stat function to look at the results. So second function eight for stat. And we scroll through to find our a variable because we're looking to construct the equation of the line y equals a plus bx. And we'll find that a is five and b is 20. So if we go back our equation y equals a plus bx, in this case, a is five and b is 20, where x is each month. So now if we want to project the number of accidents for the month of May, this is where X would equal five. So for May, Y equals five plus 20 times five, and that should equal 105 accidents projected for the month of May. And that's it. That's using your calculator with a very simple set of data to determine the A and B variables to construct your trend projection equation.